Oh. Isn't it late to be playing legionnaire? I'm not a legionnaire. Not a legionnaire? I'm a gladiator. A gladiator? Gladiators only fight in the games. Would you rather be a great Roman warrior like Julius Caesar? I'm Maximus, the savior of Rome! The savior of Rome? Where's Lucius? He's with the Emperor, my lady. He couldn't. Yes, she did. She took a basket. Pressed it to her breast, right here above her heart. <laughs> In the breast? <laughs> yes. You see, Lucius, sometimes royal ladies behave very strangely. They do very odd things in the name of love. I think it's silly. So do I. So do I. Sister, join us. I've been reading to dear Lucius. I've been reading too. Yes. He's a very clever little boy. He'll make a grand emperor one day. We've been reading about the great Mark Antony and his adventures in Egypt. And the queen killed herself with a snake. And just wait until you hear what happened to our ancestors. If you're very good, tomorrow night I'll tell you the story of Emperor Claudius. He was betrayed by those closest to him. By his own blood. They whispered in dark corners. And it went out late at night and conspired, and conspired. But the Emperor Claudius knew that they were up to something. He knew they were busy little bees. And one night he sat down with one of them, and he looked at her, and he said, tell me what you've been doing, busy little bee. Or I shall strike down those dearest to you. You shall watch as I bathe in their blood. And the Emperor was heartbroken. The little bee had wounded him more deeply than anyone else could ever have done. And what do you think happened then, Lucius? I don't know, Uncle. Little B told him everything. 